today we're going to look at distributive laws from a more formal point of view. Now you might think that we'd already done them so formally there was nowhere else to go, but there is. Because what we can do is we can look at the two category of monads in C. Now why on earth would we want to do that? Well here's the punchline, let's see if I can get this right, that monads in monads in C are precisely distributive laws. Now, if your brain hasn't exploded yet, let's have a look at why that is true. So let me just let me just draw a line down here. Because what I've written on the board here is a recap of what the two category of monads in C is. So we're starting with a, an arbitrary two category C, which could be the, uh, the the two category of categories, functions, and natural transformations, but it could also be something else. Now, the two category of monads inside C has well, it's got the zero cells, which are the monads. So that's a thing like this. Uh, the one cells are the monad functors, which are things like that, and the two cells are the monad transformations. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the monads in monads in C. So what is a monad? A monad in monad in C. Now, just to remind ourselves, this is a two category, and we can take monads inside any two category. Uh, we just have to kind of remain calm when we do this. A monad inside this two category is one of these, right? It's a zero cell equipped with an endo one cell together with a pair of, na of, of two cells like this. So it's a zero cell inside this two category. So it's a zero cell in monads in C, i.e. a monad in C like this, equipped with uh, an eta and a mu. Eta and mu. So now what else do we need? We need an endo one cell on this thing. So we need a monad functor from this monad to itself. So that's this lot of stuff. So we need a one cell from x s to x s. So what's that? I.e. We've got a t from x to x. Well, that's already promising, right? Because what I'm what I'm going to tell you is that we're going to get a pair of monads and a distributive law between them. Um, and we've got a lambda from, oh look, it's from st to ts. Well, fancy that. That's looking quite good now for being a distributive law. What else do we need? Well, we need some axioms, um, and we need to show that this is really a monad, right? But but look, um, this has to have an eta and a mu with it. Okay, so it's we've also got two cells, eta and mu. And you can you can take it, well, you can take it from me. Why should you trust me about this? Uh, you can go home and check that this eta and mu here actually turn T into a monad. These make T into a monad. Now a priori, this is just a one cell in C, right? But to make it into a monad, we just have to give it an eta and mu. And giving this entire structure an eta and mu results in giving T, little, this T here itself, an eta and mu. So the final thing we need is um, we need the axioms for this action to be a distributive law. And these come from the axioms for this thing here to be a one cell in the first place. Because in order for this to be a monad functor, this has to satisfy, well, what does it have to satisfy? It has to, it has to interact properly with the monad structure for S and, uh, and the monad structure for X. And if you look at what those axioms are for, for, a, um, for a monad functor and you substitute in this thing, you get exactly the axioms for a distributive law. So that's nice. And you may think, you may be wiping your brow now and saying, phew, we've done that. But there's actually something more to be said about this. Um, uh, uh, so let's see. So I should probably just say, this off. So a monad in monad in C is a zero cell X, a pair of monads. S and T on X and the distributive law of S O T. Now, the part 
punchline, or what I think is the punchline, is that we have something that takes C to monads in C. Right? This is a two category, and this is a two category. And in fact, this is a functor from the category of two categories to the category of two categories. The category of two categories. This is the category of two strict two categories and strict two functors. Yeah. And in fact, uh, we can call this monad blank because it takes C and it takes it to monads in C. And Street showed that this is, in fact, a monad. It's the monad monad. Monad is a monad. Now, there are some people who, who think that I only like this because I like saying monad monad. They're obviously wrong. Uh, so monad is a monad. What does it mean to be a monad? Well, you have to have a multiplication and a unit. And the really cool thing about this is, what is the multiplication here? The multiplication, that is the mu. So we need something from monads in monads in C. And this has to go to monads in C. So what's this? This is an X, an S, a T, and a distributive law of S, T. So an object in here is a distributive law, basically. And what this multiplication does, well, remember that having a distributive law like this gives us a monad structure on T, S over here. And it turns out that the multiplication for the monad monad takes this distributive law and gives us back the monad T, S inside the, in, 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 the on X, which is the same zero cell that we started with. So, well, that's about all I have to say about that. <laughs>